This is Ottawa, Canada. Home to 1.2 million people, the city is connected by a network of transitway and light rail lines, which service 48 stations and two local municipalities. Consisting of one light rail line and 38 kilometers of transitway, the system travels across Ottawa and Gatineau, with trains and buses running frequently from downtown to the suburbs. But how did the system grow from its original station to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. The first section of Transitway opened in June 1983, with the short section of the Central Transitway opening through Le Breton Station. In December of that year, two additional sections of the Transitway were opened, located on either side of downtown Ottawa. The East Transitway serviced two stations at Lees and Herdman, while the Southwest Transitway serviced four new stations between Lincoln Fields and Baseline. In November 1984, the Central Transitway was extended west from Le Breton to the Ottawa River Parkway, servicing two new stations at Tunney's Pasture and Westboro. Buses continued along the parkway in mixed traffic, connecting onto the Southwest Transitway at Lincoln Fields. The East Transitway was extended north from Lee Station in 1985, servicing Campus Station at the University of Ottawa. In 1986, a further extension of the East Transitway brought service closer to downtown, with a new station opening at Laurier. An extension on the opposite end of the East Transitway opened in November 1987, with a two-station extension opening to St. Laurent. An intermediate stop opened on this segment at Train, providing connections to Ottawa's Via Rail Station. Eastward expansions continued in June 1989, with a one-station extension opening to Blair. The East Transitway was completed in 1990, with Searville Station opening on the existing roadway between St. Laurent and Blair. The first section of the Southeast Transitway opened in 1991, connecting with the East Transitway at Herdman Station. The new roadway ran south to Riverside, servicing two intermediate stations at Abbey and Smith. In September 1995, a second independent section of the Southeast Transitway opened which included three new stations at Greenboro, Walkley, and Heron. This segment continued north to the Billings Bridge bus terminal, servicing stops within the terminal. In June 1996, South Key Station was opened at the south end of the Southeast Transitway, located along the existing roadway. In November, the two sections of the Southeast Transitway were joined, with the roadway connecting Riverside with Billings Bridge, and new stations opening at Billings Bridge and Pleasant Park. A new station was added to the Central Transitway in November 1999, with an infill station opening at Dominion. In June 2000, the first section of the West Transitway opened, along with a new station at Bayshore. Buses ran along the highway from Queensway to connect to the new segment, servicing Queensway Station on eastbound trips only. In October 2001, Ottawa's first light rail line was launched, connecting two of the existing Transitway segments. Named the O-Train, the line started from Greenboro Station on the Southeast Transitway before running north to a new station at Bayview on the Central Transitway. The single-track diesel line serviced three intermediate stops at Carling, Carlton, and Confederation. In September 2002, Abbey Station on the Southeast Transitway was renamed to Lycée Claudel after a French-language school located adjacent to the stop. In December 2005, a new independent segment of the Southwest Transitway opened, connecting to an existing bus terminal at Fallowfield via rail station. Between Baseline and the new Transitway segment, buses travelled in reserved curbside lanes on Woodruff Avenue. South of Fallowfield, a third independent segment of the Southwest Transitway opened in December 2006, with a new station at Strandard. In September 2009, the West Transitway was extended east from Bayshore, with an additional station opening at Pinecrest. Two segments of the Southwest Transitway were linked in April 2011, with a new station opening at Longfields. Additionally, the Transitway was extended south from Strandherd, with two new stations at Marketplace and Barhaven Centre. In October 2013, a new Transitway opened in Gatineau, Quebec, on the north shore of the Ottawa River. The rapid bus ran from Tachéuco to La Brosse, servicing eight intermediate stops, 
with some buses continuing in reserved lanes from Montcalm Station to downtown Ottawa. The Chapman Mills Transitway was opened in southwest Ottawa in November 2014, including a new station at Beatrice and a stop at the existing Nepean Woods Park and Ride lot. Unlike the rest of the network, this was the first transitway to run in the median of the road, with buses crossing intersecting streets at grade along the alignment. In June 2015, construction began on Ottawa's second light rail line, designed to replace the busiest sections of the transitway and relieve congestion in downtown Ottawa. To facilitate this, the East Transitway was closed between Blair and Herdman, along with the stations at Searville, St. Laurent, and Train. Construction progressed into December, with Lee Station also being closed. That year, the O-Train was also renamed to the Trillium Line, in preparation for the second light rail route. In January 2016, sections of the Central Transitway began to close for light rail construction, with service ending to Le Breton and Bayview stations. In April, further construction activities on the Eastern Transitway necessitated the closure of Campus Station. Finally, in June, Tunney's Pasture on the Central Transitway also closed, allowing for heavy construction to proceed along the entire light rail alignment. In December 2017, Confederation Station on the Trillium Line was renamed to Mooney's Bay, reducing confusion with the future Confederation Light Rail Line. Additionally, a new station opened on the West Transitway, with the roadway being extended from Bayshore to Moody. Ottawa's second light rail line began operating in September 2019, with the Confederation line beginning service. The line ran along the former Central and East Transitways, with 13 new stations between Tunney's Pasture and Blair. The line interchanged with the Trillium line at Bayview, as well as with the Southeast Transitway at Herdman. In October, the final section of the East Transitway was closed at Laurier, as the new light rail line was now operational. In May 2020, work began on the Trillium Line to extend service farther south, necessitating the full closure of the service. In its place, replacement buses were offered along parallel streets, which will run until construction is complete. This brings us to the Ottawa-Gatineau Rapid Transit map that we know today. In the years to come, Two new light rail lines are expected to open, adding more service across the city of Ottawa. To facilitate their construction, various sections of the Transitway network will close to allow for this conversion. In 2021, the remaining sections of the Central Transitway will close, along with stations at Westboro and Dominion. The Southwest Transitway will close from Lincoln Fields to Baseline, along with the West Transitway from Pinecrest to Moody. Specific dates for these closures have not yet been announced, however, are expected to take place in the year to come. In fall 2022, the Trillium Line is expected to reopen, restoring service along its former route. As part of the expansion, the line will be extended south from Greenboro, serving four new stations to Limebank. Along the former route, two new stations will be added, with a stop at Corso Italia opening, as well as a new interchange with the Southeast Transitway at Walkley Station. Additionally, the station at Carling will be renamed Dow's Lake. Ottawa's third light rail line is also expected to launch at the same time, with Line 4 beginning service. This route will run from South Key Station, servicing two new stops west to the Ottawa airport. In 2023, a two-stop extension of the Rapi bus will open, extending the line east from La Brosse. The route will travel to an existing station at Lorraine, along with a new intermediate stop. In 2024, a five-stop eastward extension of the Confederation Line will begin service to Trim, replacing previous bus service along Highway 174. Finally, in 2025, the Confederation Line will be extended west, with seven new stations opening to Algonquin. At the same time, Ottawa's fourth light rail line will begin service, paralleling the existing route along Line 1 from Trim to Lincoln Fields. The line will then continue along the former West Transitway, servicing four additional stations to Moody. That was the evolution of Ottawa's Transitway and Light Rail networks, giving us the lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our Evolution of the Network videos on other Canadian cities, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner of this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanished Underground, until the next one.